Christiana says, I'm using Google Calendar and trying to get my Outlook calendar to sync. It has been working, but it has been intermittent and now completely fails. I need to get this fixed, so please help, or I will have to go back to beloved Lotus Notes. Okay, somebody's just <laughs> Lotus Notes. <laughs> Yours, love is, it. yours is Lotus Notes. Love it. <laughs> uh, oh, how I could rant about this because this is something that happened to me today. Um, it's actually, you know, it's a real, it's a real problem for folks because, from a corporate standpoint, you have corporate, you know, policies and standards, and they say they don't want to pay Microsoft for their licensing, so they go with Google because it's cheaper, you know, and some of it's free. Um, and then you're so used to using on your home desktop the Office applications, the Microsoft stuff, or you came from another employer that only used Microsoft stuff and didn't touch Google because, um, you know, Google is, you know, the, their applications are are less than, uh, in my opinion, uh, of what uh, Microsoft Office is. But the thing is, is that you need a place to have your calendars in a central location. That's That's the biggest deal, right? Um, it, because even mail, calendar, whatever, um, and getting those two to sync is a nightmare. It really is. Uh, you can share a calendar from Outlook and put it in as an ICS file inside of uh, Google Calendar through the website, um, but then it just stops working after a while, or you notice that you're not, you don't have the the same appointments that you have between the two. And you actually have to shut both of them down and then wait for Google to, to you know, if it does actually sync at some point. Um, and it's, it's really a pain. Now, there's some third party things out there. One of two of them, one is a big script, a Google script that I put in that works pretty well. But you have to be, you have to be pretty knowledgeable about how to do scripting in order to do it. Uh, and then uh, somebody else came out with something called the uh, Outlook uh, hyphen Google Sync. Um, and it was one of the MVPs, I think, that actually created it. Um, and it's free. You can you can download it, but it's in beta. It's alpha and beta. Um, and uh, it, I tried it today, and it it crashed on me, so I, I I couldn't even use it. But this is this is you know not something new. Um, and to get this right, I don't know what the answer is because right now the only thing that's working for me is a script. <laughs> and I um, um, helped a helped a couple of family and friend members and it comes down is it business or is it personal because if it's in the personal it's like a personal space um have they done it as a pop have they done it as an imap have they you know sometimes they've had to change it from one to the other and then it was working fine and it didn't have any problems um you know that one that one was one on the on the personal side how are they adding their calendar in are they do, are they doing it you know is it outlook or is it mail because sometimes they think they're doing outlook on a windows device and they're using mail really so so yeah. what application do you actually have? What version application? Are, you know, are you using still Outlook 2013, 16? Are you using the latest? Because I've had ones that were using 2013. They were using or were a you pop, using mail and, and now have, <laughs> have the new Outlook, whether you wanted it or not? Yeah, that's it. So, you know, I kind of go, there's, there's so many other questions that come into this because, you know, if it's on the personal side, there's so many things that could be going wrong. Uh, yeah, and yet well, the, the silliest things will come up from that. It's like yeah, if, if yeah. you look, one of the things for all of its faults, the old mail and calendar app on Windows 10 and Windows 11 did, was it for those who use it, it gave you it gave you a unified inbox. You could have an inbox with all of your mail. The new Outlook doesn't do that. There is about oh, I don't know, it was about 18 pages long, the thread on the answers form about, I'll never use this until they, it just. Fix it. Mm -hmm. There's so many things that are not available in the new Outlook, like search folders and quick parts, yeah. and I could go on and on. I'm, I'm hoping awesome. that they get it all. Send to Teams. It's, yeah. You know, it's coming slowly. It's got, well, uh, that, it's on roadmaps, but still not but, so fast but enough. But that's too, I, I mean, there's so many different things. And going back to kind of the core question here too is that you know what version are you talking about of 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 outlook um you know you can because you, you look there's plenty of info out there on exporting your outlook calendar over sharing it with and syncing with it. if it's not syncing on a regular basis maybe you have to do a manual update um 
is I, I'm, I'm there's got to be like mike you talked about using a script again there's things like there's there's other integrations there's it's this and that so again can keep two calendars in sync that way every time uh, an item is created on one calendar you have basically have two uh different bots out there that will then go and send you know create a a similar item uh over on the other corresponding calendar um, the other, the other I, question is, this is more of a comment or question, but, you know, and, and I don't know how much this used to be the case that also both Google and Microsoft being fierce competitors would do things knowing it would break some of the, yeah, yeah. I don't you know but, that that's really happening anymore, but yeah, I mean, but I gotta say, I mean, this is 2023. Right. I mean, for Microsoft to jump ship and take their outlook and actually go in reverse, um, you know, like you had just talked about both Heather and Christy, um, that doesn't make any sense to me. It also doesn't yeah. make any sense that things just can't talk to each other. I mean, there's, there's, there's no reason for that. I mean, you got systems, you got medical record systems that can talk to each other. You have uh, airline reservation systems that can talk to each other. And it's just because it's something that needs to be done. But then you have these two companies that are just like, you know, tit for tat, don't want to mess with each other. And, oh, we're going to make everybody's life, you know, crazy. It's just, it, I, I, I don't know. The two frontiers out there are, are task management and calendars. Well, it is because well, you get so many questions around calendars. It's not funny. Like yeah. uh, oh, yeah. crazy amount of questions. So yeah. guys, clean up your act. I believe it. Well, not <laughs> yeah. only that, but. I had an experience, we were talking about this in the, in the call. I had an experience where uh, I was coming from Evernote, okay, and going to OneNote. You know that mm -hmm. there's no tool. Why, if, if I created a tool called OneNote and I wanted to get customers that were using Evernote over to my product, would I not create some kind of import method to be able to bring those people over? Yeah. But no, Microsoft has nothing, nothing. Evernote has got a, 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 a OneNote importer. Yeah. I know that, but why would why would they not do that? Because people would use because their product then. Mm -hmm. yeah. I know, but it just doesn't make sense to me. It just it makes little sense that the the size of that company. So the partner, so the partner community can make have. money. Partner community can <laughs> make money. That's not that, 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 that little <laughs> tiny twenty nine dollar <laughs> plug in. You know, I I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yep. That's a broader philosophical question about Microsoft Indeed. how they prioritize their their product development. But I mean, I I think the uh, the answer to a lot of questions, and sometimes, especially as MVPs, we're so passionate and active in the community, is that some of some of the things like yeah, could they do it, but it wouldn't uh, close more tickets or it wouldn't sell more net new licenses. Therefore, I've it's not a higher priority. I get it because one note's free, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, and I and I think you know a lot of efforts going into Loop and all the integrations with the other applications on that too. So yeah. I think that yeah. there's there's a lot of pieces that have to fall into place, and then maybe maybe we would see something yeah. on that. But I hope yeah. it, it, eventually you'd hope it would help the calendaring because that is a big issue. I mean, it's mm -hmm. just you know it's a nightmare. To I remember when trying to just bring in Gmail into Outlook. That was a process, you know, at least they came up with some kind of wizard where you can actually, you know, it actually gives you a Google Mail option to select um, and it knows what to put in there for the right ports and all that other kind of stuff. Um, no, it's, but, it's a resolve because everybody's Gmail account is just their garbage account and they have their work <laughs> account. <laughs> I thought yeah, that was Yahoo and AOL. Yeah, oh, don't talk, let's not start on now. Yahoo. Oh my lord, let's not start Yahoo. I no, have nothing but a nightmare for my mother on Yahoo. Jesus, yeah. <laughs> that's that. That's actually live.com. So, yeah. 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 And, and then, then you get into the whole lot of things. So.